Excuse me. So today, I locked my keys in my car. What do you do when that happens? Luckily, my window was down about this much. And while I like reached my hand in and I was about this close to the door, I was like, ah, unlock, unlock. It was a little bu uh, button to unlock. And then there were some little kids. I was like, hey, come over here. Can you unlock this? So they tried and they, they got, weren't, didn't even fit any closer. So I took my hand and really shoved it in, gave myself a really ouchy bruise right here. It might turn colors later, but right now I can't tell, but it just really hurts really hard pried it open got my keys but the real solution when you lock your keys in the car to not do it again is to find a way to solve that so when I locked my keys in my car it was just this and I keep losing these and I'm like where did I put them because it's just one key and a little button thing so what do I do I bought a lanyard. So I went to the mall and I noticed there was an Oakley store there. So I was like, oh cool, I like Oakley. My glasses are Oakley. My sun two pairs of sunglasses are Oakley. So I got this cool lanyard that was on sale. And now every time that I take my keys out of the ignition, and it either goes around my neck just for real quick or it, like I'm like holding on to it. Like, stay here. <sighs> so yeah. That's how I figured out how to solve the problem of locking my keys ever again in my car. Because I don't have a spare one. If I get, like, locked out here, I have to call somebody and pay them to jimmy my car door open. So, I don't want that to happen. Um, second thing that I did today is I went out to eat at a sushi place just to try it out. It was like, I just got a couple California rolls. It was no big thing. It was, it's kind of weird because they're like, how many in your party? And I'm like, you're looking at her. <laughs> So, it's just by myself, so I just stay there just to order some sushi, eat it, and go. But I, I put my purse, this bag, not my purse, but my bag, right here, on the back of the chair, like this. And then I left without it, and I didn't realize until maybe like three or four hours later, because I had um, my little clutch, and I had my cell phone, so I was like, yeah, I'm good. And but I left this there and I realized when I got back to my hotel room and this was like 830 So I'm like, oh, I gotta go to bed soon because I want to wake up for 6 a.m. class But I left it there. So I had to go back. But luckily traffic's really not bad at like 830 9 o'clock It's like boop, boop. It's like seven miles or eight miles there eight miles back It wasn't a big deal and all I had was my yoga stuff some underwear glasses some deodorant nothing really like super important in here, but yeah, so those uh, are two things. And how do I avoid doing that? I don't know. Like, I not bring that in to restaurants, just bring this in and not forget it. That's all I got. So those are my two mishaps today, but it actually uh, made me kind of more adventurous because then I got to be like, oh my gosh, and learn and whatever. So anyway tip for not leaving your keys anywhere is buy a lanyard at least if you're going on vacation and then uh, or bring a second key leave it in your hotel room leave it somewhere so you have it and then um don't leave your purse places but if you do just call them and be like hey how lady open and i'm gonna come and get it and they're really usually really nice so not a big deal